Well, today we're doing something that could be considered completely insane. We might be completely crazy. Today we are looking at a house to buy. That's not crazy. <laughs> not crazy. <laughs> it's not completely crazy. No, it's yeah. definitely not the craziest thing we've ever done, I would say. <laughs> if you happen to be new here, about 16 months ago, we sold everything we owned in order to travel the world full time. This process was both extremely freeing and also very challenging. We enjoyed the freedom of owning almost no possessions and the flexibility to live and travel anywhere in the world. But we also felt the challenge associated with not having a home base or a spot in the world to call our own. We quickly learned that part of the joy of travel was the anticipation of leaving, but then also the comfort of coming home. So while we have been traveling, we have been looking for that new place to call home. And this might be it. We have a long hike to get up. We just parked our car down there. But man, these beautiful mountains in the background should be the view that we're hiking up to see at this property. We're here to meet a technician, who had a breath, to walk the property, ask questions of what's possible to renovate, what, what work can we do ourselves, approximately how much is this gonna cost. The main concern, off in the distance, you can hear the church bells ringing as we're hiking up here. Are we crazy? Well, yeah, but we've always been crazy and it leads us to some pretty awesome things. So we'll see how this all goes. <laughs> so a big thing that we have to analyze is the road. So I'm glad that we're walking up it today because eventually we'll have to have large dump trucks of cement and sand being shipped up to us. So we need to make sure that these roads are passable for large trucks. 330 centimeters. Let go. Millet, millet, centimeters, yeah. It's a metric tape measure. It's my first time using a metric tape measure. <laughs> Gotta get used to that. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be something that you use. <laughs> it's a beautiful driveway. Yeah, it's a, it's a gorgeous driveway. You just walk through Spudworth. Is this technically the driveway though? Uh, no, not. it's a public road, <laughs> but. It's a road, but this would be the drive up. Oh my goodness, this property is just incredibly gorgeous. So this right here is the start of the property. In total, there's about one hectare acre, which I think is about four acres of terraced land with the house sitting near the top of the property. But with each terrace, you can see they've done some beautiful built-in stone steps. I can see one step up there, um, but we'll have to show some different ones later on. So these stone walls are terraces that were built possibly by Venetians like, what, 800 years ago? We really don't know. <laughs> like, no one really knows the history of the, the stone walls. We're still trying to find out. Yeah, but I mean, the house is at least 200 years old. So these are at least older than that, which is to me, Wow, just kind of in incredibly impressive. It's mind blowing, it is. These stones are just incredible. To think that people slowly harvested these stones from the mountain and slowly stacked them up, but then also to see the detail that they've put in. These are stone steps built in to get from one terrace to the next, which is just incredible. It's amazing, this is so beautiful, wow. There's a donkey here. Stella is the donkey on the property, and we've asked if Stella can come with the house. <laughs> oh. Wow. Alex, you want to go sit down? I'm going to go sit down. Look at this fireplace. A typical Italians oh, having the class, you know, there was no electricity or stuff. Is this typical? Yeah. This is our living room. We have a little cleaning stuff over here. A little table. Oh, and we have this lovely little fireplace. And a little seat for my doll. There's something about this room that makes me feel like Cinderella. I was just gonna say like, that, yeah. Um, Living out the Cinderella, Cinderella with, fantasy. Uh, like the Rogers with Hammerstein Cinderella where she sings a song, my own little corner and my own little world. There's, or whatever there's, it is. there's two I don't know. little corners. There's, I'm like, I'm definitely going to sing that song when I'm home alone yeah. someday. The fireplace is probably my favorite feature in the entire home. This is where they would heat the house and cook their food. And she was telling me they would like put a pot on this 
and then make polenta. What about the uh, seats? And then there's seats in here on either side so you can stay warm. Like, I'm, I have no words because it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's just incredible. What do you think? I'm in love. Yeah? And this is like, I'm like trying not to get too attached because. It's a long road ahead. Yeah. But I love oh. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's dark in here. Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alexa. Tell me what your favorite thing is about the house. Um, my bedroom. Your bedroom. Are you excited to design, help design your bedroom? I've already designed it. Do you want to see? Yes. Wow. That is so fun. Hey, Chloe. Yes. Can you tell me your favorite part about the house? Um. Definitely not this part's creepy. <laughs> you don't think this is cre this is really cool? We're literally sitting inside of the fireplace right well, now. I kind of like it. I kind of like it too. This and is mommy's favorite room. I will show you to my little playhouse. I can just imagine this being my little playhouse in here for me. That would be so fun to have a little we'll playhouse have the, area. The loft. And we want to build maybe a loft upstairs in your Yeah, room. um, so I I had this idea in the loft. Uh, so we would have a net this looks like for um, each of us. Um, and in the net would be like blankets and pillows for like movie nap time. Yeah. Man, these stones here. It's just the, the craftsmanship in this house on this property is just absolutely incredible. Like, they built this with their hands. And how old is that, Brady? Like 200, 200 years old? 200 years old, yeah. I mean, it's a work of art. Like, it really is. I just can't even believe it. And Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry. Because <laughs> I found, like, a piece of tile, and I'm like, don't touch anything with it. <laughs> don't, like, draw your name and draw it. It can be a little intimidating walking around an empty space like this that's nothing but stone walls, but... I mean, already we're starting to talk about like, this could be a bathroom and that could be the bedroom over there. And sure, we'd have to punch a hole in that wall to get to the other bedroom, but it can work. And especially when you think about the view outside, my goodness. Like, seriously, it's just, it's breathtaking. And I don't know, I mean, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, but I don't know, I just this, this just could, could be it. There's so many things like redoing this wall section, redoing out these windows here. And then of course, plastering the wall so it's not like a scary dungeon. We wanted to make it nice and pretty. The next room will be this Do you remember what we we're gonna put in this room? This will be our bathroom. Yeah, we're gonna hope that this will be the bathroom area. And we'll kind of put a hallway in here and open up that door and that will be mommy and daddy's bedroom, right, Chloe? And I bet we would fit a shower and a bathtub in here. Oh, that's mommy's one thing is that we have to have a bathtub. Yes. Yes. We could fit a giant bathtub. <laughs> we could fit a giant bathtub. Okay, so you may be wondering why Italy? Um, Italy has been a very special place for us for a very long time. Actually, even when I was a little girl, I dreamed about going to Italy. That was like the first travel destination that I set my heart on. Like, I just want to go to Venice and ride in a gondola. And that was like my dream. And it was actually the first place that we brought Alexa when she was... Um, about a year and a half. It was my first time um, traveling overseas was coming to Italy and it's just always had this really special place in our hearts. We've actually come back to Italy more than I think just about any other country um, that we've traveled to. We keep coming back mostly before we started the channel. We did film a video in Sicily. Um, sorry, my arm is getting tired. I'm not used to holding the camera. <laughs> like this Brady usually films me, but he's out talking to um, the geometer and the realtor and um, the owner. So we're getting some details today about all of that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, the reason that we love Italy so much is obviously because it's beautiful. The culture is incredible. The food is incredible. Um, but yeah, that's 
that's why Italy. We've just always loved Italy so much. Well, now I will be showing you the next room. Wow. Alright, so this is what we're thinking that will be your room, right? It's okay. Beautiful ceilings. Yeah. A nice window. So it's definitely a lot. We've just run around with the architect trying to figure out what's allowed, what's not allowed. There's so much that has to be done. We actually have to dig up the first floor to meet code and put it back to place, just how it was. But walking You're through kidding. it, really, yeah, walking through and realizing everything that has to be done. Obviously, it's beautiful to walk into it, but then when you think about the plumbing needs, the electrical needs, it's a lot. Like it's a, it's a massive project. But if we have to rip the floor up, can you do plumbing underneath the floor? We have to rip up the floor. You, you can do plumbing underneath. Oh, that's interesting. But yes, yeah, so you were trying to be positive. <laughs> um, but it's it's definitely a lot. Um, and, I think and it's we're, scary. It's scary, it's a and we're scary. we're thinking about trying to live here while we renovate. Um, hey, my headband. So, which we don't even know if it's that's legal. So we still have to find that out. So there's a lot of things to find out. This room here was used to store the hay for the animals that lived just one floor beneath. And the whole house was a combination of living space and storage for animals. Either wing on either side were for the animals. So we do need to do quite a bit of work, including adding doors. Hey, Chloe, can you step back from that? It's not exactly a safe place for children at the current moment. Um, but I mean, just to walk around with the owner and to hear about the history of when 50 years ago when he was a child and he was bringing hay into this room to feed the animals. It's just, I don't, it's, it's so cool. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really like to, to own a piece of Italian history would be just like the dream. I don't know. I'm like, I'm trying not to get too attached, but it's not going very well. <laughs> We've always been drawn to Italian architecture and that's something that we've always talked about is like, wow, like all of these buildings, like they need somebody to come and restore them and to take care of them because there's so many buildings that have been abandoned. The families have moved on and, and they've been using this as kind of like a, a little getaway from here and there, but they've moved on to a more modern home. And I would just love to take part in restoring a little piece of history. This is definitely a huge project that we're a little nervous about taking on. We have done home renovations before, not to this scale. We bet out the van by ourselves pretty much. So this is much bigger project than that. Um, so you guys know that we've been really looking for a home base and we really think that this could be an incredible journey for us to uh, start here in Italy. This is where the cows used to be. <laughs> what do you think this is for? So when the cows would live in here, they probably would pee in here and then it would run out the door. <laughs> so this was for the animals to live in, which might be an office for us. It seems like a nice little office space. Okay, so another question you might have is what does this mean for the channel? Are we going to stop traveling? And the answer is things will change a bit on the channel because we will be focusing on renovating this beautiful home and that will take a lot of time and a lot of energy, but we will not stop traveling. We will probably slow down for a bit, which is kind of what we need. We need to have a little bit of time to stay in one place and, and have a little bit of a different kind of adventure. But then I'm sure it will be not long before we're ready to get out and travel. And one of the reasons that we want to settle in Italy is because it's so central to so many different places. And so that's a really huge thing for us as we want to continue traveling, but also have a, uh, a home base. Chloe, do you think you'd like to live here? Yeah. Do you think you'd like to have a garden? Mm-hmm. Do you think you'd like to have some pet animals? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Do you think it would be fun to sweep the house and help with chores? Mm-hmm. Yeah? You're gonna help mommy with chores? Yeah, there's a lot of work to keep a house like this nice. Mama. Yeah? Now I'm gonna stop. You're gonna go sweeping. Go sweep, okay. The history here is just insane to think about 
I mean, 200 years ago, hauling the rock from the mountain and slowly building this house by hand. These walls are two feet thick with rock. And I don't know, I would just love a project of restoring a home like this. So far, it looks like people used to use here for building stuff, a little like fire, and that's it. Let's move to the next room. Okay. I think probably our favorite part about this whole property is the view. As you can see behind me, it's stunning. Um, I can just imagine waking up in the morning, coming outside, having a coffee, and oh my goodness, it's just, it's breathtaking. So to get to the last remaining room, you say hi to your donkey friend, and you climb up these stairs here, and then just look at that rock. It's incredible. And then here's a little sitting area. This would be our bedroom. This would be the room that we would live in. Chloe can do more right here. So we would live in this room while renovating the rest of the house, except it's closed off for 40. And then eventually, yep. Yeah. Yeah, and then eventually we would open up the door to the rest of the house. But at least we have one area to live in that's separate from the house and all the dust, 430. It's a huge project. It's very intimidating. This is like an all-in project. <laughs> this is definitely one of those projects where we may be getting way in over our heads, but <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful. We love it. It will be worth it. I like, I just have this feeling every house we've ever bought, it's like you walk in and you know, like, okay, this is it. This, I could see us living here. Obviously this is a very different situation because it's basically a ruin, but like, I don't know, it has my heart. I think I'm excited. I really hope it works out. It's hard to tell, but these terraces are very, very stunning. A little path to get up to one of the terraces. Man, to explore the outskirts of this property. It's, it's just stunning. Like everywhere they have the most stunning touches. This is a, a donkey path, handmade out of stone to get from one terrace to the next. This whole process is definitely very intimidating and very hectic because as we're looking at the property, we're running around trying to answer as many questions and uh, I'm hoping we're capturing things properly so that we can remember the process and, and kind of look back and analyze and make smart decisions. But it's definitely, it's definitely very dreamy. Like this is a place that we've always dreamt about living and so much more beyond that the terraces the old stone walls and not to mention the beauty of how they stack the old stone house it's i don't know it's it's crazy it's very scary but i think that it would be perfect for us long term so i don't know if you heard but on our way out we were talking about the donkey which apparently comes with the property <laughs> and stella stella and uh the owner was saying that the donkey is very important to the land and, and as we've been learning, a donkey needs a friend, so you need a second donkey, yeah. but then the donkey actually will take care of the sheep. Like there's all these and layers. Daddy said it could kill a wolf. Yeah, yeah donkeys are apparently it. good guard animals. And then we have to get cats to kill the mice because I Yay, hate mice. So this would I don't like cats, but I hate mice. <laughs> She's this, allergic to cats. <laughs> this will very quickly turn into a proper farm. Also, we'll have lots of pets. Yeah. Uh, so there's a little comment section where you can like tell us we're completely insane. We know we know we are. We, we know we're crazy. We've always been a bit crazy. We don't mind that, but this might be a little too far. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's some parts of it that seem more normal, at least to me, because I think the the biggest way we've lived in an alternative way if you will over the last year year and a half is by selling our possessions and not having a home mm. and like all of that so that's like very countercultural. but this is like 
we're gonna buy a house and we're yeah. gonna fix it up and we're and it feels more normal in, to in me. In some ways, it's but more I understand normal, it's not except really. <laughs> we just toured a house that looks like a dungeon um, oh, with very God. dark. <laughs> <laughs> it no. is like a no, it's, a fairy it's, tale cottage. It is it is an absolute <laughs> work of art, especially from the exterior. Um, the lower floor um, has very small windows, very little natural daylight, um, and it's very dark. And yeah. the kids, the first time that we went in, they were a little bit scared, and they started to warm up to the idea. And then eventually, <laughs> now they love it. They're yeah. like. Um, Chloe was just saying over and over again, like, I'm just afraid we won't get the yeah, house. Like that's we keep asking they, them what they're afraid of, and Alexa's still a little afraid of the spiders. And we're like, we will take we'll care of the clean spiders. the spiders out. Yeah. Um, but Chloe's fear is that we won't get it. Yeah. But I mean, it's going to be. It'll be a very long road. It'll be a very different house when we're finished with it. It'll be bright and airy, and like we can see the vision. Yeah. It's hard to explain the vision and captured on camera without actually being there in person. Um, but yeah. yeah, it would mean a lot of changes for us. I mean, we've been on the road full time for 15, 16 months, something like that. Uh, since it was April of 20, Doesn't matter. 20 something. <laughs> it's been a long time. So this is a massive change for us to um, hunker down in one yeah. area and to slowly renovate. And our goal is that we would do uh, the majority of the work as much as is allowed. Mm -hmm. We of course have to navigate the very complicated <laughs> bureaucracy that is Italy, um, which is one of the biggest hurdles. Like yeah. um, we're talking about um, buying a house in a country that we don't yet have a visa to stay in. We have a tourist yeah. visa. So we're trying to navigate that. Italy is so bureaucratic. You can buy a house, you just can't live here. <laughs> And if you can figure out how to live here, you can't buy a car. Buying a car is the most complicated process. Buying a car for a foreigner is so much more complicated than buying a house. And it's... Which is just strange. Yeah. It's just So strange. there's a lot of hurdles to get through. We are doing our due diligence. We're talking to all the right people. Um, we've poured so much time into it. Um, we're staying in this gorgeous place. Yeah. Um, but the, the owners happen to live um, just upstairs and they renovated this entire place. They put in a soccer field and a fire pit and like all this cool stuff it's that so we talked inspiring. about in yeah. our last video. It's such a beautiful um, place. So it's been a great place to hang out and like in the evenings we'll chat with them and we'll talk about our plans and they'll give us feedback because they've done yeah. the majority of all of their renovation work here. So and they are of, Italian so they course, understand naturally. things here yeah. a little better than we do so yeah. we can get a lot of advice from them. It's been nice. So that's been really cool. They went to um, their home improvement store and brought me back a catalog and we were flipping through it together. So. Mm. It's been it's been encouraging, but it's also um, it's daunting. I mean, we'd have to start taking care of animals. Like <laughs> we can barely take care of children. <laughs> hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> the biggest thing is this is not a for sure thing. Yeah, we we hesitated pulling out the camera one because it's very challenging <laughs> to to film uh, touring a property that's not your own and. Um, they were very gracious with us. Um, it might be a little confusing the video, but this is our, our third visit. Yeah. I went once by myself, fell in love with the place, pulled the girls back. He we brought were, some, he got some footage on his phone to show yeah. me, but you, it's just... She was sold before she yeah. ever walked <laughs> through it. And then when she walked through it the first time, sold again. So the majority of the footage from this video came from our second showing yeah. where we brought um, essentially kind of like an architect. They call it, um, call it a geometer here. That was the third showing. Um, the third showing, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been, we've been pursuing this for a couple weeks now, um, which is moving very fast, but every single day has been filled with mm -hmm. um, meetings with attorneys and immigration people and realtors yeah. and banks and just crazy level of meetings and driving all over the place i totally forgot the question that i was asking. oh but we don't <laughs> we don't know if anything will come of this so we could hit a roadblock in any number of ways like the geometer could come back and say hey you want to do this to make it a home but it's simply not allowed here mm -hmm. it's simply impossible and 
like that that's an that's completely yeah. possible like there's there's a lot of digging that needs to be done and we'll have to see like how possible is it to even do that digging mm -hmm. how much will it cost or are we going to hit rock and i mean there's a lot of unknowns and a lot of potential pitfalls mm -hmm. where it could just the whole thing could be pulled out from under us but what is so interesting is anytime we make these kind of huge life altering decisions it's always very quickly so mm. we are and so <laughs> far it's worked out for the best <laughs> so far <laughs> but this one <coughs> i keep me. saying this one could break us this one could be the one thing that it's just the bit it's, yeah, it's it's starting it's, to pour yeah like, it's raining got like 10 <laughs> seconds before the camera's too wet yeah it's um i forget what i was gonna say yeah. but hold on let's stand on this okay <laughs> um so anyways give us your feedback we can handle it <laughs> maybe <laughs> don't i better we, not read the comments <laughs> um we've gotten we've gotten a fair bit of feedback already <laughs> um, a fair fair bit um no we've gotten lots of challenging things to think about which is good yeah and we we should so lastly we we have the next couple of months already booked out and planned for us yeah. like Part of me wishes we didn't because now we really need to save money. <laughs> I know because guess what's next? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. It's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> next is the, uh, something that's a little too expensive if we're going to want to be buying a house, but it's already paid for, so there's nothing we can do about it. Um, oh, shucks. We have to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, uh, I, I'm assuming we'll probably keep things updated in our videos as we move forward, but it's a very long process. Buying a house in Italy can take three to six months on average. It's very slow. Um, so to be honest, we just won't know for a long time. But Yeah, anyways. but we do have some really exciting things planned until then. So next up is our Disney cruise with Steven, Jess, and Hunter, which we are so excited about. And then we have some other exciting things planned. So fingers crossed through all of that, we will be even more inspired and more encouraged by this whole process and we'll have fun along the way. Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll keep <laughs> we'll you posted. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm ready to get out of here because Dad used to just say, um, so can we buy the house? It takes a long time to look at a house and all the little details to make sure that it's the right house for us. Are you a little bored? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my own little corner, I can be whatever. I can even die already. In my own little corner, in my own little chair. How about you sing this song? Then I can't understand. Okay. In my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be whatever I want to be. If you want to be. I'm my it, own okay. little pie, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whatever you do, don't be scared. You climb a mountain, see a ghost. But don't be scared if there's something else. Oh, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared.